We've learned of a third arrest after a shootout on campus of Gardner Webb University in Boiling Springs. We've just got an update from police on the campus scare. We can tell you the search for a fourth person, a person of interest, continues. Classes did return to normal today with everything running on a normal schedule, but there are questions about mixed messages sent to students by the university. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live at 5. Tanya, what are officials telling you? So officials say that they sent a number of notifications, alerts out to students. Their top priority was keeping them safe. One of them, though, did tell students that the situation was contained, leaving some concerned about whether they were actually safe or if they weren't safe. Authorities say in situations like these, everything is fluid and things change fast. I'm proud of a lot of things. <laughs> Emotion still raw for the top cop at Gardner Webb University. Chaos hit campus Wednesday evening. We saw the, the shooter exit the vehicle, uh, run toward a gentleman, and just started shooting. I mean, they just absolutely started shooting. Cell phone video caught the suspected gunman in handcuffs. Police believe Dieterius Harris is a former student who was in a relationship with a woman on campus. Two others now in custody as well. But in the midst of the search for the shooter, campus police locked down the school, sending warning messages to students. Shelter in place, stay where they are, and wait for that response from us telling them that they can come out. But some students questioned whether they were actually safe. One of the messages told them the situation was contained. Then a later message said police were still looking for a suspect. The chief says they didn't know for sure who had a gun and who didn't, and they weren't taking any chances. It was a, such a fluid situation and things were happening so, so very fast that, you know, we had to get, we had to get our students safe. So again, three people have now been arrested. That fourth person who they want to talk to, they say that's not a suspect at this time, but they believe that that person has information that could be valuable to their case. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. All right, thanks, Tanya.